just got a chance to build an AI meeting assistant. And this is a complete web application, which has a nice landing page. It has dashboard. You can upload new files and this is any audio files. It generates the summary and then also it generates the transcript. And this transcript is the complete call. So I took an example from internet about this council meeting. It was more than an hour and it analyzed the different parts into tasks, decision, questions, insights, everything that you need from a meeting. Not just that, also it generated a summary, a description, a name, and all of that in a nice looking table. Now let's look at how we can build this. The AI workflow is handled in Langflow where we have this Grok Whisper component, which we're gonna select the model that we wanna use. And then after we get the transcript, we're gonna send that over to an OpenAI model with this JSON example of what we want and not just the example we're going to send a signature or a schema of how we want the json back from openai model and together with the transcript as well as the two example we're going to bring all of that together into a prompt and in this prompt template we have first instructions on what each of the field mean and then also we provide the json example signature and the transcript now once we save that we're going to provide all of the info from before to this OpenAI model I'm using GPT-40 mini, simple model, cheap, and it is something that works. We're going to enable JSON mode. We're going to send all the details and we get this JSON back. And this is the JSON we're going to use in the text output and send back to our front end. And not just that, we got the full transcript from Grok. This is also something we send as a text output. And this is also something that shows up in their API. We can look into playground what sort Sort of data we're getting back and also in the api as what we need to take over so let's open the api tab this is the curl command that we're going to need in our front end so let's remember that now first thing for the front end we're going to go to v0 give it details about the application and then it helps us build this nice looking landing page you might need one or two iterations but then that's fine you can chat back and forth the first dashboard it gave was not that nice so I asked a few different changes and this is what it came up with nice summary section then also in details the different sections I wanted it to generate for me so all of this looks great now we're gonna take all of this over to cursor which is gonna be the place the IDE that we're gonna be using to build our application and here you can see I have a bunch of chats that I did with cursor to get to a stage where it is error free and all of the features I wanted. I'm using a Prisma DB in this case. The uh, schema as well as the data model is easily defined here. The database is local, so that's something I wanted to keep it local. And you'll see that the app structure, this is a Next.js app structure where we have APIs. This is for a meeting, for transcription. And then also we have the usual folders for the dashboard and a few other set up here. And once you follow the structured approach mentioned in the last few videos, you get this full app that has the features that you want. This video is to get you started building these application to get more details to learn how to build something like this. Watch some of the videos from earlier last week. It talks about all of the steps needed to build something like this.